Hi, I'm Mark Torgerson, and I'm here to talk about tuning your angel harp. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at here is the tuning sheet, and this is for the Lotus tuning, uh, but it works for any of the other sheets as well. Uh, first of all, we have uh, the number of the string right here on the right left-hand corner, uh, corner top, and the string number is the actually it's the string that starts with the bass note, the biggest uh, wound string. So on the harp, that would be number one right here. This is number one, this is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, so forth, okay? And um, so that's, that's the string number. We also have on the next column the peg name. It says F2, G2, C3. So that would be up here. This would be F. F, G, C, D, E, so forth. Okay, and it doesn't have uh, the numbers like I have. And those numbers, I put those there for uh, the sake of knowing which octave it is. So the, the, the number after the name of the note, like F2, would mean the F in this in this uh, second octave. It's the second F. If you looked at a on a piano uh, keyboard, F2 would be the, fr the second F that presented itself, okay? So uh, we, uh, in this particular tuning, it goes from F2 all the way up to C6. So it, it spans about four octaves, okay? So, and then the next column, it says tune to B1. So that is the actual note that we're gonna be tuning to. It started off with the peg, which was for F, and we're going to tune that to B1. We're actually tuning it down. Um, and so each one of these tune to uh, notes is uh, part of the, the tuning, okay? So the next column says number of strings. That means the actual number of strings is tuned to that particular note, like B1 would have one tune, one string tuned to it. B2 would have two strings tuned to it, so you can see that there's nothing, there's a blank there, okay? So the next column is frequency in hertz. Now the hertz is the most important piece here. Uh, they all have a number, 60, 90, 120, 180, all the way up to 960. Okay, so we will start with B1, which is a 60 hertz, and that's the platonic um, tuning or the sacred geometry tuning that we're aiming for. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like on the electronic tuner. So the, this is the number right here in hertz that we're looking for, okay? So I'm going to try to set this up so that you can see that as I'm tuning. So the other thing that we have is a tuning wrench. Okay, it can look like, like this. It can look like this. It can look like this. There's a number of, no, number of different things, but they all do the same thing basically, which is fit onto your tuning peg right here and then tune it, okay? So that's, that's what that's all about. So we're going to start with F, uh, the tuning peg name of F, and we're going to tune that to B1, okay? which is the frequency of 60. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, pluck the string and look at the, uh, w w what the hertz readout is here on, on the electronic tuner. And what I'm seeing is 57 hertz, so it's a little bit flat. So flat means it's, it's a little bit lower in, in tune or pitch than it should be. So uh, to, create, uh, to um, fix that, what we're going to do is go clockwise. And if you look at, at how the string is wound, uh, when you go clockwise, it actually tightens it up on the, on the tuning peg. It's, most uh, harps are like that. Clockwise is for tightening it or making something sharp. 
and counterclockwise is for loosening it or making it a little flat. So we're going to uh, hit that one more time and then try to get the 60 hertz that we're looking for. Okay, so we have 60 on the uh, on the thing right now. Now we're not looking so much at the needle as we are at the actual number. So if we if we get the 60 hertz somewhere between 60.1 and 9, that sh that that's that's good enough. Okay, so the next one will be uh, G2, and that will be. Uh, the frequency of 90. I think you can see that 90, okay? So, um, and that's going to be tuned to F sharp 2. So right now you can see it's about 85 hertz. Okay, so we're going to uh, tighten that up by going clockwise. Strike the, uh, pluck the string, and then uh, tune it uh, clockwise. So there we go. Uh, you notice that it, it, sometimes it goes a little bit sharper, like 91 hertz, and then it comes back and settles. And that's that's the the string. That's the natural tendency of the string to be a little sharp when you first hit it, but it kind of comes back and recalibrates and it kind of settles into a a particular tuning. So if I hit it again, you see it's about 90 90 hertz. Okay, so um, we have the 60 and the 90, and the next one is going to be 120, and that will be a B2. And that's the third string. So I move my tuning uh, mechanism to this one, and we're looking for 120. Looks like it's about 116. Okay, so that's 120, and um, this particular tuning calls for two strings to be 120, so we're going to do the next string uh, as 122. One, two, three, four, and that's 116. There we go. So we have the fir first four strings tuned. next one is uh, 180, and that's going to be, we're going to tune three, three strings to the 180, and that's going to be tuned to F sharp 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, that we're starting on the fifth string. So that looks like about 177, 176, and we're going to go up to 180. Okay, and we're going to do three of them that way. 176. This, the next one is a little out of tune, you can tell. It's uh, supposed to be 225. Uh, we'll tune two of those to 225, which is A-sharp 3. So what, let's see what it is, actually. Okay, it's 222. So we're going to go up another 3 hertz. Make sure we have the right one. That's a, a G. Okay, here we go. Okay, we hit, that's 225, and two of them are going to be 225. 
Okay, so that sounds a lot better already. Okay, so the next one will be this pig here, and that will be uh, 240, which will be a B3, and four, four strings are going to be tuned to 240. So let's see what this one is. 236, so we're going to tune it clockwise up to 240. Okay, next string. Oh, I had it on the wrong one, sorry about that. Okay, next one. Next one. Okay, we have gotten so far as B240. We've done all those, and they actually sound pretty good. Um, that's the first, uh, let's see, the first 13 strings. And then, and then you can start to hear when things are out of tune. There we go. So uh, that'll be the next note, which is um, D sharp, and that's at 300. So let's see where that is. Um, it's at 291, so it's way off. So I'm going to uh, crank, crank the tuning wrench uh, clockwise again, uh, put some tension on it. So there it is. There's the 300 we're looking for. Okay, and then go to the next one. And so we have three that are D sharp at, at 300 hertz. 291. I'm going, I'm going back a little bit because I went a little bit too far. There we go. One more. 290. There's 300, okay. So we got about half of them tuned already, and it's starting to sound pretty good. So the next one is uh, F sharp four, and th three of those are going to be uh, at 360. I guess you're not able to see this, <laughs> so here we go. The F sharp uh, four, three at 360, so that's, that's what we're doing. So that F360 is actually right here at 349, so we have a good way to go up. There we go. Okay, the next one is 450, 
going to do three of them. That's the A sharp three. So I move the tuning wrench up to this one right here. And it's 450. Okay, good. Sometimes they want to be a little cantankerous, so you have to just keep working at it until you get it. Okay. Okay, the next one will be B. Four, and we're going to tune that to uh, actually B4 is B4. So uh, three at uh, 480. going to be 600 okay so here we have D 6 and we're going to tune it up to D sharp 5 and 3 of those are going to be tuned to 600 Hertz okay here we go I'm seeing 587 Good. Okay, the next one is uh, 720, and that will be the F5 going to F sharp 5. So four of those will be tuned to 720 hertz. So it's at 703 is way off.
Okay, and four to go. We have um, 900, uh, A sharp, two, and uh, okay, 900. 880. Good. Okay, and then the last two are Starting on B5, it's uh, B5, 960. Okay, so that was a pretty out of tune harp, but uh, we got it done pretty quickly. And that's the Lotus tuning, sounds pretty good now. Okay, so um, sometimes it just is practice take makes perfect. <laughs> you have to keep working at it until you get it, just like any other musical <coughs> instrument. And um, the more you do it, the better you'll get, the quicker you get, and the better your ear gets. The most important tool right here is, is not your tuner or your wrench, it's actually your ear. Uh, so if, if you can hear when it's going too sharp or too flat, that's, that's the most important tool that you'll have. Okay, so thanks for listening and best of luck with your tuning.